The fate of Virginia's three most powerful politicians is in the balance this morning, but it's the lieutenant governor who's feeling the most heat, with the accused and the accusers trading denials and allegations overnight. Justin Fairfax says he won't resign. Instead, he's doubling down on his claims of innocence, saying that the interactions in question were consensual. But one Democratic Virginia state legislator says he's pushing to impeach Fairfax, and the women accusing him now say they'd be willing to testify in any impeachment proceedings. Embattled Virginia Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax this morning flatly denying separate allegations of rape and sexual assault, now calling for a full investigation. In a new statement writing, I say again without reservation, I did not sexually assault or rape Meredith Watson, Vanessa Tyson or anyone else, adding, I call on all appropriate and impartial investigatory authorities, including the FBI, to investigate fully and thoroughly the allegations against me by Ms. Watson and Dr. Tyson. I ask that all three of us be respected during this process. An attorney for Watson responding late Saturday saying there was nothing consensual about the rape. The lieutenant governor is facing a chorus of calls from prominent Democrats insisting he resign. The former governor, congressional Democrats, and Democratic lawmakers in the Virginia State House. Democratic presidential candidates, too. I just believe it's time for him to, to step down, to resign. After Meredith Watson came forward Friday, claiming Fairfax raped her when they were both students at Duke University in 2000. That charge coming days after Dr. Vanessa Tyson accused Fairfax of sexually assaulting her in 2004. Attorneys for Watson and Tyson now say both would be willing to testify at impeachment proceedings for Fairfax. Swept up in a separate scandal, Governor Ralph Northam, who is now telling the Washington Post he plans to spend the rest of his term pursuing racial equity, saying of his blackface controversy, it has really raised the level of awareness for racial issues in Virginia, and so we're ready to learn from our mistakes. And a new Washington Post poll finds Virginia residents split over the Virginia governor's fate, with 47 percent wanting Ralph Northam to step down and 47 percent saying he should stay on. Northam actually finds higher support among African-American residents, 58 percent of whom say they want him to remain in office.